Okay, we're going to try problems 6, 7, and 8 together. In question 6, we're asked about this random variable, the number of foreign-born people you would choose if you chose a random sample of three Californians and you determined if they were foreign-born or not. What are the possible values of W? Well, you could have selected uh, no foreign-born people or one foreign-born, or two foreign-born, or three foreign-born. So the answer must be C. In this problem, we're looking for all the possible arrangements of the three people that were selected. Um, either <clears throat> they would be foreign-born or domestic births. So the possible outcomes actually are outlined here. These are all the possible arrangements. And what would the probabilities be? Well, given that the probability of a foreign born is 27%, then the probability of a domestic born is the complement of that, 73%. Applying the multiplication rule for independent events because uh, knowing that someone is domestic born on the first selection doesn't affect the probability of um, someone being born or domestic born um, in the second selection or the third selection for that matter. So we're going to use the independence rule for probabilities. And <clears throat> so for this one, what would we do? These are all domestic born. So we would have to compute the probability of D and D and D which is just the probability of D times the probability of D times the probability of D. And so that's going to be 0 0.73 to the power three, which is 0 0.3890. <clears throat> so one is true. For the next group, using the same logic, this time we're going to multiply using the multiplication rule two domestic born probabilities by the foreign born probability. So it's going to look like 0 0.73 to the power of 2 times 0 0.27. And when you punch that in, you get the answer 1493. And that would be true for all these possible arrangements because in each of them there's two domestic and one foreign born. That's going to be different if there's two foreign borns and one domestic born person in the selection. To figure this one out we take 0.27 to the power of 2 oh, sorry, to the power of 2 and 0 0.73 to the power of 1 if you like. And when you punch that in, you see that you will get the answer 0 0.0532. So that's correct. And lastly, if you want to calculate the probability that all three are foreign born, you're going to take 0.27 times 0.27 times 0.27 or 0 0.27 to the power of 3 to get your answer. And when you punch that into your calculator, you do get the answer 0 0.0197. So these are all correct. The answer to this question is E. For question 8, 
Using the above information about the variable w, we're going to define now a new w as the number of foreign-born people you choose Actually, this is the original W that we defined in number 6. But then in number 7, we went to look at the arrangements. So getting back to the number of foreign-born people you choose, and looking at the possible arrangements to help us, the first listed here is um, would, would correspond to no foreign-born. The second corresponds to one foreign-born the third to two foreign born and the fourth to three foreign born. So we have all the probabilities for those outcomes and we could compute then that D is correct since for zero foreign born that would be 0 0.3890. For one foreign born you would have to sum all the possible ways of seeing a one form born person appear. So when you add 0.1493 uh, to itself three times, you'll get 0.4479. Uh, for two form born, you would have to add 0 0.0532 to itself to represent all three times, and that would be 0 0.1596. And finally, for three form born, it's just the answer we got before, 0 .1, 0 0.0197. So the answer to this question eight is D.